and tonight is about finding help, and it's about thriving. And Jen is about creating a network and a safe place, whether that's through counseling or through therapy or, you know. Therapy! Whoa, guys, what? what's the problem? It's no big deal, right, JP? I mean, I go to therapy. Therapy! <laughs>
Look at the student on your left and the one on your right. One of the three of you will binge drink in the next two weeks. Okay. Sixteen people here tonight will binge drink tonight. Okay, now the thing is, of course, that that's really not funny. Uh, and uh, we can talk later about what that what that means. But it is an example of the pressure on young people to drink. Uh, and for many it's dangerous. Alcohol is involved in the majority of sexual assaults, accidental deaths, and suicides. 134 students in this room, 13 tables, will misuse prescription stimulants, painkillers, or sedatives. 42 will intentionally cut or burn themselves. 52 will have serious thoughts of suicide, and 10 will attempt to. And this is just this example, it's just one assembly at one school. The situation is an emergency, and we need to change it. The good news is that a lot is known about how a community can support mental health and protect at-risk youth. The challenge is that the knowledge is not universally in practice, and part of the reason is that all of us Parents, students, community leaders, business leaders, alumni, we don't demand it. And part of the reason that we don't demand it is that we are not open enough about mental health. Emotional distress, mental illness, substance abuse, and suicide are multi-layered problems. It takes a thoughtful, community-based approach to address them. The Jed Foundation and the Clinton Foundation have partnered to help colleges implement exactly this kind of safety net. The Jed and Clinton Health Matters program launched today at noon, and by the time we left the office, 20 schools had joined us. Now, this is a pretty incredible group of people who are here tonight. Together, we have the know-how, the influence, the network, and the resources to make a massive difference. Imagine what we can do together. We can eliminate the shame, the secrecy, and the prejudice around mental illness. We can promote the life skills and resilience that will help young people thrive. And we can help ensure that schools have well-planned mental health, substance abuse, and suicide prevention programs. We can save lives. Now, We'd like to thank and recognize some very special friends who are here tonight. First is Shirley Hector. Where is Shirley? <laughs> Shirley is Jed's grandmother, and she is our amazing friend, supporter, and advisor. David Hyatt Kraft, for your generous support of tonight's event. The, okay. I'm going to say we don't clap because then I'm going to be up here a lot longer than you want me to. Let's clap at the end, okay? Um, the Clinton Health Matters Initiative for an incredible partnership that feels more like family. For MTV, for using your superpowers to promote the emotional health of teenagers and young adults. To Chaz Dean, founder of WEN, for your passionate commitment to youth and the love of loud. To, to Sanobian Pharmaceuticals for your dedication to mental health research for your support of Demi Lovato's listening engagement tour and engagement tour, which brings her here tonight. Forest Laboratories, for your support and friendship from the very beginning. The Apex Foundation and founder Jolene McCall for helping us build a new program to help prepare high school students for the transition to young adulthood and college. Yale Center for Emotional Intelligence, our partner on this new high school program and to the Poses Family Foundation for your amazing friendship, counsel, and support to the Jed Foundation. We do not know how to begin to thank you. And finally, to Phil and Donna Satan for creating the Jed Foundation and for being a role model to all of us. Now we Just know that all the support you're providing really are going to large numbers of students around the country. It really translates directly
into helping thousands and thousands of students who really are at risk and at great need. So thank you all very much, and, and good night.